And Father Robert from Gadget at thetechstop.net, the place where it's always time to get your geek on. We're here at the NOC, the Network Operations Center at Interop Las Vegas 2012 at the Mandalay Bay. I'm sitting next to Peter Chen, an engineer from Netgear. Hello, thank you very much for coming on. Thanks for having me. Who, uh, well, has part, been part of the Netgear team that has been all over Interop. You're providing 10 gig switches for aggregation for our offshore floor, for our classrooms. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about storage. Tell us. What storage goodies has Netgear brought to the show? Well, we've brought a few uh, ReadyNAS 4200s. These are two U rack mount units, 12 bays, and we populated them with uh, 24 terabytes each. That's, that's kind of nice, yeah, it's, it's, it's very useful. Now, um, we've actually had storage at Interop before, and we've actually used a 3200, which is a fantastic device. I mean, it's fast, it's huge, 12 bays, up to 24 terabytes with current drives. And, you know, we'll do everything from iSCSI to uh, 10 gig. It's, it, they're really well-built devices, but they had a problem for us, and that was when we were dumping all this data, uh, the video streams, all the documents that we needed, and the logs, uh, all this data that we wanted to get a hold of, well, we'd lose it for six months when we had to shut down the, the network and move it back to the warehouse. Netgear came up with a solution for us. Tell us a little bit about it. So what we had was, what we have is one ReadyNAS 4200 back here in the NOC, and then we took another 4200 put it in a colo somewhere out in the desert, somewhere safe, and we replicated some data using our sync from this NAS all the way to that NAS. And uh, that's uh, what it is in a nutshell. In a nutshell. In a, so yeah, in a nutshell, that array is synced up or kept up to date up in to real date. time with the data that we have on this yes. array. So as logs get dumped on, as video feeds get dumped on, They'll just sort of always try to make sure that they, they have identical yeah. copies. We, we have a backup job that's scheduled to run every hour, so right. um, it's pretty up to date. R-Sync isn't the only technology that you use. It's not the only service. Tell me a little bit about Netgear Replicate. What Replicate is, is a portal where that's located in the, in the cloud where you can manage all your different ReadyNAS boxes and uh, you know facilitate create backup jobs between them. Uh, it's it's web-based, It's we've made uh, the whole idea of off-site backup uh, really simple and uh, easy to understand. It used to be that if you wanted really high performance storage, like for example, if you were going to be using it for video editing, that you had to get a SAM, which is a dedicated high performance storage area network. Crazy fast, but also crazy expensive. You've kind of blurred the lines with the, the, the newer ReadyNAS boxes. Tell me a little bit about NAS versus SAN and how ReadyNAS fits into the mix. So uh, we've blurred it to the point where we don't have NAS or SAN. We call it unified storage. You can actually run um, you know, NAS as well as SAN simultaneously on the same box. And it really depends on uh, you know, your application or the performance target that you're trying to hit. And uh, that gives our uh, customers a lot of flexibility uh, when they're trying to utilize their storage device. Now, of course, the best place for them to find out more about a ReadyNAS is, well, to buy one first, but also to come to a show like this, talk to the engineers, talk to the NOC folk, and ask them how they've been using the, uh, the network attached storage. But if they can't do that, where do they go on the internet to find out more about the ReadyNAS? www.readynas.com. Peter, thank you very much for coming on. Thank My you for pleasure. being here at the Interrupt. And uh, you stay tuned because we've got more goodness coming to you from Interop Las Vegas 2012.